Go, yeah. Some tanned in. Here, peg in, I'm running. As you go, man, you're turning. Oh, the team now. Team merch. <laughs> I love these colours, man. These colours. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah, they I didn't are. appreciate getting beaten up with a by my <laughs> fucking marshmallow <laughs> shell suit. You know what I mean? <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So we're actually just on our way to Meritor Gym in uh, North Wales. We're about to go and hit up a session with the one, the only Danny Dixon. If you don't know who Danny Dixon is, you're about to know. He's an unbelievable MMA fighter. You find out of Merit Meritor Gym in the FCC. Uh, he just recently finished his UFC Fight Pass debut as well. Uh, he, he's won all five fights, his last five fights by knockout. He's been destroying every single man that they've put up in front of him. And I, I imagine he'll be in the UFC anytime soon. Uh, so we've now got the chance today to go and see his training camp. He's gonna run us through some drills, hopefully do some wrestling, some boxing, some jujitsu. And uh, if you're lucky, you might get a few rounds at the end uh, of some sparring as well. Next stop, Meritor Gym. You're actually a lot taller than I remember, bro. Oh, yeah. What are you like, six? Six bang on average. Yeah. Five eleven or six. Yeah. To the girls six. Five eleven, <laughs> five, 11 I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do one we'll 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 Oh the team now. Team merch. Sorry bro. Mate, I've been smashing the burgers, mate. Oh yeah. Honestly. Do you binge after you fight? Yeah, I binge more than food yeah. I'm saying I find something up there, like seventy kilograms. That's insane. Know, yeah. Like seventy kg. But I, I walk around and like eat it. I like it big <laughs> What's crazy is actually when you're actually in the octagon, what happens yeah. if you don't control your breathing? Yeah, you, yeah. You can burn out just from standing yeah, there. Yeah, easily. It's just like nervous energy in it. Yeah. From, from anything from the day, like it's, it's waking up on fight days. So say you wake up on fight days, first thing you do is you get excited for your fight. Yeah. I always say to my, don't get excited until like shadow sparring in the morning and doing yeah. all that. Because yeah, you feel good, but it's you're just burning energy. Yeah. I, I, I go to bed at like 1 a.m. the night before the fight, and then I wake up at like 12 later in the day. So when that my energy is kicking in, it's later on. But everybody goes, get an early night before you fight. That's pointless. You get an early night, you're gonna wake up earlier. Yeah, yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll do like two each or something, and then we'll have a little round. Let's have a little flow round. Yeah, just flow. Yeah, yeah. 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 Go, get out of the spin as I go now. Let's get up, under, that's it, fold it. That's it. Boom, 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 your knee shield. Yeah. I'm going to pull that to the side. No, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. I can walk with you. Walk with you. Kick your leg. Get down. There, so as you're here now, I'm going to go in. Don't knee shield until I get there. So as I go here, pull up. Boom, knee shield now, yeah? Yeah. All I'll do is I'll put this to the side like that and I'll raise it. I'll then posture on your head. I'm here, I can move, you can kick, do whatever. There, yeah? So, go on, in, yeah, here. I go like that, yes, left, yes. Knees to the stomach, go. Boom, there you go, and again. Boom, and again. Boom, boom, now take it down. Yes, there we go, there we go. Boom. So, here, pull you in, pull you in. As you run with me, yeah. as you run, then you turn it. Oh yeah, so tanned in, here, head in, I'm running. You, you don't see how he flew. Boom, boom. Talk to me. 
feels like I'm fighting a heavyweight. Seriously. Just a little bit of jiu-jitsu there with the boys, um, some wrestling. Now we're going to get into a little bit of striking. There's always a step for the spin. If you notice, know I do a lot of spinning. Though. When I step in and out, yeah. you're in my firing line of spin. Spin it back at me. Yeah. When I step here, spin an elbow. When I step here, spin a body. When I step here, spin a head kick. Yeah. It's that step that ignites that. If, if I'm here, yeah, I go to spin something. Watch. Same arm, same arm now, push against me. Can't beat you. Your body's behind it. Bang, bang, stop. Now step and spin. Four, 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 yes, one more. There you go, lads. He's open when he's throwing. When he's like this, he's not open. So say if I'm here now, it's dead hard to land on me. As soon as I go like this, I've got everything there. Yeah. Yeah. Try and counter on that, yeah? <laughs> but by the time you think, oh, it's time to start the second leg kick. Too late. Thanks for today, brother. Nah, really course, appreciate mate. it. Of course, now. Nah. Well, you've got serious potential, mate. Serious potential. Thanks, Especially man. for someone just starting. Like I said, just a little few finer things. You know, Obviously, you're new to the game anyway, so it's just about learning little steps, baby steps yeah. at a time. But other than that, mate, really good. Yeah, really good. Obviously, congratulations, bro. Um, you, the, uh, that. that win was unbelievable. I saw it um, a couple of weekends ago. Now, was it two weeks ago, roughly? Yeah, two weeks ago, yeah. Two um, weeks. What's the next UFC? Obviously, you've got your debut for the uh, the UFC Fighter Pass now. Congrats for that too. Thank you, mate. Yeah, um, no, so I'm going to go on to uh, I'm going to go back for FCC September. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a title fight, the world title FCC, or, yeah. or it's another fight first and then on to December. So it, I've got two fights. So it's September, December, and I think they're just leading up to the world title. Then I'll get signed. I'm going to be seven and one by the end of the year. That's my goal. I'm five yeah. and one now. Five and two more before the end of the year. Two more before the end of the year. Hopefully Jeez. a seven fight win streak. Yeah. Hopefully seven finishes. I've got five finishes up to now. Yeah. Seven finishes, and then I'll be calling for something big next year. I'm not yeah. sure what. You know, there's UFC London that comes around every March. Mm -hmm. That is obviously the dream goal. Yeah. If it ain't next year, it will be the year after. Yeah. Yeah. It will be the year after. 
It's one of my main sponsors, yeah. Seven it's years good. deep. Know, Seven years deep in football, yeah. Seven years deep. Stories we've had, we've had together. Yeah, so literally crazy. Like he, he actually, stopped, I, I actually done a prison sentence earlier in my career. Okay. When I was an amateur, only for fighting out yeah. of the town. He, he stuck with me yeah, through it, like yeah, no, as a sponsor. Oh, yeah. So he come out. He still believed in me. Yeah. I'm here now doing this, like, and it's all good. You know, mm-hmm. like winning yeah. and everything but you got to think of the people back then yeah. I mean they seen the vision I had yeah. there was a time I couldn't I mean, just completely I think when we first like, met the, the story you had to be like I'm going to make it yeah, yeah, I was like yeah go for it you know what I mean like, I, I'm not one of them be big headed or something but everything I said I'm, I'm going to do I'm going to do it do you know what I mean yeah. and I'm doing it now it's happening I first, I first actually watched uh, I first came to watch you obviously didn't know you at the time um, it was an event in Wales Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it was like it was like a hybrid. So there was a bit of boxing. There's a couple yeah, of gy- yeah. gypsy boxes in there. Yeah, it was like D side. And the D side, yeah. There was. All I remember is some guy in in the red spandex, bro. Yeah, yeah. The whole the whole night he was stood out in the crowd, just heavy breathing. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what was going on, but he was like. And then he got into the ring. Was I think the ref wanted to see someone get fucking murdered because he was just on the floor. <laughs> let him, let him, like. Get <laughs> like, like this. I was like, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> someone, someone start to fight. Yeah, good shows, yeah. yeah. So that was the first time I ever saw you, man, and it was just like. Um, Mate, the power destructive fucking hell you like really exciting explosive fire yeah, and it says a lot about you as well bro you know oh, sticking no, by someone yeah, through it's just standard now isn't it it's yeah. just, that's one thing about fighting is that people when people you know are on a, on a low yeah yeah people just drop out I and it's easy to think, see i think the whole career is highs and lows in it yes mate you can okay. yeah, yeah uh, highs and lows in it so you've just got to get some people that know that because some people just think it's one big high and it's fucking i not. think it helps you know me me understanding like the, the business side of it yeah, and, like yeah. you know like how it works, you're not always going to win, you're going to have losses yeah, and you yeah. know, it's how you get back up from it, isn't it? And you sponsor really. some big fighters, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, exactly. What's next for you, bro, with the with the uh, remedy stuff? Are you are you going to continue down the path of, you know, the, with, the, with the fight yeah, sponsorships like obviously, and things like that? Yeah, uh, streetwear side, fashion stuff, that's what we're going to, we're going to blow, blow that, keep doing it. Yeah. Uh, sell like a lot more in America, Germany, whatever, but a different route, we want to go down the fitness route. Yeah. Uh, I think the, the apparel route for that is, yeah. is, is huge. We've uh, done sponsors for... Love these colours, man. These colours. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah, they I didn't appreciate getting beaten up with a bad man with a fucking marshmallow <laughs> shell suit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> we took his top off. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, just going down different avenues. Um, fitness side, I think it's definitely a huge gap that we're, we're missing out on, potentially. Yeah. Um, and just running it up, really. A lot of footballers yeah. lately, haven't you? Yeah. Wolves, in Wolves, Wolves, Wolves football club yesterday. Real Madrid, um, you've had. Chelsea. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I even forget. <laughs> Some Ser- stuff. Serious people. Like, yeah. So yeah. One last question for you, um, Danny, as well. So do you believe in like alter ego fighting? So like a, a separate entity, like a, a person that you get into for fighting because you can't take I mean look at you man you're lovely to meet you when, yeah. I, when I first met you I was like the guy's like calm chill you can't bring that yeah. I got a podcast ages ago and my house got broken into when I was a young kid okay. so that's why I started fighting when I was 11 so I like to look after my family it does actually say it on my Instagram I've done it to look after because I watched like my family get hurt mm. and I couldn't do f- all I was a young kid so after that it made me like it, it sparked something in me and I yeah. boxed from that age I've done everything from that age and then yeah. before you know it I found a love for it mm-hmm. and now I, I just like it's like it's still that if you get me it's mm-hmm. still that from a young age where that violent side of me yeah. and i just use i channel that in this you sport into that. yeah yeah i put it into this sport yeah. but it's gone from that at a young age i've always been violent from a yeah. kid from that that sparked me and then that's it so i don't think it's a different person mm-hmm. i think it's me do you know what i mean but i am a nice person i don't think violent people like it's about learning to be a beast in it like they say on them yeah. fucking instagrams and that you know, learn to be a monster and then control it and that's yeah. what you've got to do in it and you've learned over the years with yeah. the shit you've been through Definitely. you know you've seen it even with like being caught and that i think you, you can help people more, more you go through like. there's one really interesting part of your last fight that i i noticed and it was when it was when you'd finished the fight yeah. and you had that moment you know that obviously that amazing moment which you deserved yeah and you st- I, I i almost watched you in real time switch it off yeah yeah you yeah. kind of went yeah, yeah, yeah. you paused but it's like it was was because i went to touch gloves with him at first yeah. yeah and he ran at me and kicked me and from that moment i wanted to like obviously hurt him yeah and when i've hurt him I've gone back to tell him something like in anger yeah. as in say like you disrespected me yeah. but as I've gone back he's on the deck and I was like I won't disrespect him like that yeah, yeah, so sure. as I've gone like that I've gone no stop stop do you know what I mean yeah. it's like just a stopping myself switching myself off yeah to yeah that. well Mike Tyson said a good one on a podcast yeah people teach you yeah they, t- they, they, they train you to get in the they get train you to get in the cage they teach you to be an animal all the way up until once you get out in the cage who tells you to calm down who tells you back to normal who tells you go home to your family and chill out and relax now no one they they, they literally train, 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 train. They send you in for the kill. Yeah. And you're done. That's it. You're yeah. done. Go celebrate it. Yeah. But you're still in that mode. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You've got to learn to control that. Like I said, you're always welcome here, mate. Anytime, yeah. If you've got, you, if you're at any fight coming up and you want to work with us, that's us, yeah. And do yeah. the next car next week. <laughs> <laughs> Even out for me, yeah. guys. Cheers. Thank you hey, so much, bro. See you, mate. Nice yeah, one. You're here. Take care, Thanks. brother. Smashed it.
Is it? Sound I'll do this. Wait, I'll chop it down. Nice. 